American politics, uh, Professor Dr. James Baxter from Tennessee State University, uh, who has a lot of information about the participation of Africans in American uh, politics, but also a lot of information about uh, history uh, and, and the history of uh, that activity. And of course, uh, uh, Dr. Baxter, let me welcome you to the show this morning. And let's start off by uh, having you to uh, give our audience some information about your background, okay. your education, okay. and your experiences. Right. And I'm sure that, that many mem members of our audience know that we've had you numerous yes. of times. And, mm -hmm. and so, but nevertheless, sort of give us a summary okay. of uh, some of your uh, background, education, okay. experience, and then we'll get into Africans right. and American politics. Let let me say good morning, Dr. Haney, and thanks for having me again. I am James Baxter. I am the son of the late George William Baxter and Venus Valda White Baxter. I am a native Nashvilleian. I come from a family of seven children. I am the seventh a sibling. I was educated in the public school system of Nashville, Davidson County. I hold a Bachelor of Arts degree from Lane College in Jackson, Tennessee, uh, the Master of Science degree from T Tennessee State University, and also the EDD uh, degree in Education Administration Supervision from Tennessee State University. I am a public educator, public educator, uh, just retired December the 16th, uh, and certainly I've worked with Tennessee State History Department over the years. I am a CME, a Christian Methodist Episcopal uh, pastor. I pastor the Baker's Chapel, Christian Methodist Episcopal Church of Goodlessville, Tennessee. Uh, I have uh, aspired for politics uh, uh, on several occasions. I've ran for criminal court clerk of Davidson County, Tennessee, vice mayor of Nashville, Davidson County, Tennessee, and certainly I have other political hopes and aspirations, but we can never win it if we're not in it. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a pleasure to be with you today, Dr. Haney, and I thank God for all the things mm -hmm. he has done. You know who we talk about, uh, and I think you, uh, you've been involved with uh, politics enough uh, to have a special insight into yes. uh, Africans in the uh, political process. What can you Certainly. say up front uh, over the next two minutes before our first commercial break about uh, African participation in politics? Well, I, I, when we look at politics, Dr. Haney, what we must understand, uh, politics determines who gets what and how much. When everyone is, a, is, is included uh, in the political process, then certainly it, it fulfills what Abraham Lincoln said mm -hmm. in that we are a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. I do believe that we live in the best democracy and in the best country on the face of the earth, a country in which you can aspire to be the president of these United States. And it does not matter where you come from. Now that's what we must teach our young. It's not where you come from, but it's where you're going. So then your dream can become a, a, a reality in America because of the inclusiveness of, of the system. Uh, and Barack Obama has proven that. But who would have thought in 2008 the first African-American president would be elected? Mm -hmm. And so in a real sense, uh, uh, the opportunity is there, but an individual has to. But now, at, at one time, I, I, there it was almost impossible for Africans to participate in politics. How did black folks become involved in politics? Well, if, if, we, if we recall during the Reconstruction period, uh, shortly after the Civil War, and the federal government had to reconstruct the South. I'm talking about a southern region who had declared itself, uh, separated or withdrew from the Union. Uh, and the Union was preserved with the defeat of the Confederate States of America, mainly those states in the southern region of the United States. So the federal government was faced with how will we reconstruct and bring the rebellious South back into the Union. Well, we had the Lincoln Plan, which was the 10 percent plan, and then, of course, the Johnson Plan, and then the Congressional Plan. It was the Congressional Plan led by the Republican Party those in the party who were known as the radical Republicans, Thaddeus Stevens and, 
and, and others. Mm -hmm. uh, they implemented congressional reconstruction in the South. Let's, let, let's stop it right yes. here at this moment, uh, 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 okay. Dr. Baxter. Okay. And uh, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial okay. break.